guys, it's Linda Lin for Resource News. Popular OAP and hype man Dutton ran into a bit of trouble renewing his international passport as a result of his blonde hair color. He made this known on his Instagram page when he made a post saying, I pledge Nigeria my country to be faithful, loyal, and honest. To serve Nigeria is by force. I don't cook change them to black. Oh well, some Nigerians seem to know a lot about that policy. Check out some of the comments. Dear Diana said, I mean, it's common sense that you look as close as you as possible because it's a form of identification. You won't have blonde hair forever. Let's know what to be ranting or complaining about, please. Kevase145 said, those guys can humble people. They forced my friend to cut his dreads. Bolahan071 said, that's the right thing. Get your passport with your natural look. When you commit any offense, you will be identified. Your look is part of your identity. Stop calling Nigeria names. I am Kidian said, in other countries, nobody cares about your looks as long as you are a good citizen. And they believe everyone cannot have the same career and there are requirements for each career. But in Nigeria, it's the opposite. The popular young Nollywood actress Regina Daniels, one week after gifting her mother a house and four days after showing off her newly acquired car on Instagram, got tongues wagging again this time by showing off her newly acquired 3.3 million naira Rolex watch on her Insta story. She really got tongues wagging, guys. Take a look at some of the comments. Ras Kacha said, I am starting to believe that Nollywood they pay past Hollywood. Right now, she is the highest paid actress. Miss People said, Along, I get confused each time this babe shows off her newly acquired accessories. Shall live your best life. Adana said, And then, I think she should focus more on living age 16. Audrey Blessing said, The real definition of a small girl with a big god. Congratulations. Nice one. Ali B's signature said, and to think I have never watched any of our movies. Sometimes when I do sales of my hair care products, I make up to five million a day. Sometimes, sometimes even no, more. So you. imagine, and I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. XBB Niger housemate Ifwe Nada, during one of the reunion moments, said she makes up to five million naira daily whenever she makes sales of her hair care products. Hmm, I know, right? Well, she apologized some hours ago and wrote, guys, that five million naira talk, no be a CBO. Make you not forgive me, I beg. Sales, they bring better money, but I don't know when I talk my future projection. <laughs> and I suspected Nigerians aired their opinion. Check out some of the comments. Bimbo Lawanson said, thank you for apologizing. We didn't believe it either when we heard it. Sarah Poch said, when you talk too much, you end up lying too much. Stop living a fake life and making people less of themselves. You apologized because you were caught. Official Queen Ama said, you work really hard if we're another. You will get there soon. Sandra Ihiwa said, it's very possible to make five million a day, especially when you're running a sale. Y'all don't know the power of sales and e-commerce. Some people make that in an hour. Don't be close-minded. The popular Nigerian comedian AY dragged a troll who made a resounding comment on a picture he posted on Instagram. The fan, Nonso Ernesty, commented, sometimes it takes an AY to make a prison outfit sleek. An AY clapped back saying, Thanks to your father for borrowing me your inheritance for my photo shoot. Let me know where you need it back to continue from where he stopped in jail. Wow. Well, people have mixed feelings about this clapback. Check out some of the comments. Odia Sultan said, but AY's clapback isn't funny. That guy actually sounded like he was complimenting him. Comprehension, no easy. Juliet Hespiration said, I thought it was supposed to be a joke. I'm sure this guy didn't know what was coming to him. But AY is a comedian. He shouldn't take all these comments serious, Joe. Bob Thorpe said, see Percy where they joke about people's predicament. He's okay. I am DK said, high rage of savagery. We should learn to mind our business. That's it, guys. And don't forget to catch us on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And check out our other interesting contents. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on the notification bell for instant notification. Bye, guys.